Greetings over the diaspora to those that don't speak the languages that we do. Welcome back again to another episode. Today we're doing Gassi the concentration camp. Yeah, I'm still suffering from hay fever, so please do bear with me. That is why I'm in my glasses. Yeah, because not even eyeliner can help today. But regular greeting, what's up, special gangsters, Stoners United, all gang shaker hands, tarot card readers, Toza Gogo gang. Um, who did I leave out? Wake and bake gang. Welcome, welcome back again. Chakra hands, all healers in your different perspectives and fraternity, and in whichever way that you guys want to be referred to. Wall gang, anti wall gang, welcome. As long as we are all here in a love and light. Welcome to another episode. I think this should be the second episode of Guys the Concentration Camp where we deal with systematic issues. I know somebody did say that, oh my god, Coco, we're so tired of hearing about this, 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 that. But yeah, I don't think we, uh, at the time where we're not speaking about them until things do change or until us as a people, we do heal. So today, uh, it's nothing too hectic, but the uh, Kibata Ribueka. Well, it's going to be very short because, yeah, I want you guys to do that and then come back uh, a review, right, where we're going to go deeper into it. So I watched finally, uh, because I don't watch it when it's hyped up, I watched finally the clone Ty Tyrone and I feel, my God, I feel, you know, I tell you that he what they saw or, yeah, if you're not chained, if you're still not chained and your mind, you're open to... You're open to what you know as you know to be shaken a bit. Go watch that movie. It's called Netflix. Um, it's called The Cloned Tyrone. Where it deals with all these issues. As much as it's based in the US. But it deals with the issues that are also affecting us here. So whatever it is. Whether it's favela. Whether it's kasi. Whether it's ghetto. Whatever it is. As long as it's concentration camp. Like I defined what concentration camp was as long as the concentration camp be Yabotaki or yeah people of color these are the issues that we're gonna be experiencing you know and yeah i just i think maybe for this episode give it a bit of you know way and I, I i purely do not mean any disrespect i love my friends i love my anti woke i mean yeah my not to woke or anti woke or feel the friends that feel oh my god you woke people a little too much i love them i respect them even my religious friends even though at times i like that the bunsen burner a bit but yeah, you you do know that it's love, and um, especially because yeah, Lena can always cause where I'm like ah, Lena did not wake up woke at one time. Lena, I was saying, what does this say? What does this fairytale book say? Sorry, they are being condescending. I'm sorry. Return, return, return. But yeah, so yeah, so no offense, ne, in everything that we're gonna review from that movie, ne, whether um, yeah, I have my own views on certain things. But yeah, I, I'm not I'm not going we versus this and whatnot, you know. But from the hair the hair thing is touched, you know. The food thing that I'm so big on is touched, you know. Um the music we listen to as a people. So go watch the clone Tyrone and then as a Eric thing like maybe the three that you need to watch for you to have that foundation of yours be shaken a little bit. I think we all need like yeah shock effect yeah now you know uh for me was Malcolm A when I watched the movie Malcolm X. Actually I must rewatch it now. When I watch Malcolm X where it like cut off my relaxed hair, you know, gaba and then my rooms are back then nele le comrade. So that's how I got into about my awakening and well not awake well pre-awakening yeah so all these things you know like even even church me like i'm still grateful for that part of my life it did build like the holistic picture it did give me the confidence to know you know like yeah there's this kid who thinks yeah there's some kids on the socials who yeah man yeah i wish him a healing but yeah it's a consciousness it's like a kind of level you know but he's still in the phase where um, he feels, oh my God, everybody needs to be religious or whatever it is, you know, you're burning in hell now. Like, yeah, allow me to go burn in hell, like, see Nati Lapa, you know. But, um, what, what, why did I die birthday? Yeah, I think one, I think one, one entertainer, yeah, not trigger. He, he entertains me where I'm like, ah, shame, man, you know. Yeah, so it's, it's a bit of, mm. but anyway, 
um a sequel lap so go watch uh the clone tyrone and then we're gonna unpack it nicely so we all on the on a similar or on an opposing level you know so also religion was touched in that movie go watch the clone tyrone and then an oldie which i always always refer to is uh boys in the hood uh kia spike lee an amazing director who also deals with these social issues where yeah it will be brought in the form of movie and remember also hollywood is not just um they're not just mo making movies for G, you know which is yeah i fear when the purge comes what's going to happen but anyway and then a third one that i always well it's, it's, a, it's not too old or too new but you get out go watch that thing if you are a melanated person with their thoughts that's a very judgy line but go watch that if you are ready to have yourself shaken and then yeah we'll come back but for today's episode uh i just want us to talk about this craziness that's been happening um with men that feel so entitled to banya and Albo. so i was hoping i was gonna have this conversation with my friends around um yeah i did see them last week and yeah we we yeah we didn't well we like i think when a bunch of women are around and a lot of especially if like it's heterosexual women like conversation about men will always pop up you know but in the media we've been seeing how um men are like and not the stena kepoza stena but uh somebody lost their eye because men just feel entitled to want to get that hello from a woman and then there's the defense behind it or no yeah now we're saying like yeah we got bigger problems we got bigger problems um uh, where we need to where we are dealing with yeah maybe this is a venter clock but it, it's a thing where it go back as a concentration camp because this also boils down to like at the top of it you know at the top of it i think i consistently say Hore, you know what it's not a feminism thing or a what do i think but System er existent koyona birth a lot of ills where we don't even understand how we need to be interacting with each other, you know. And these constructs that, especially in a binary manner, where you're a man, you're supposed to be acting in this way, you know. And we don't, and how we are socialized as well, where we'd have women who are also supporting these notions who are when a not bearing when they is surely assaulted you or. Uh uh wait now why did you speak no in in daughter mass and stuff like that you know and i'm hoping that because I, I do see that uh those who identify as male are the ones who are mostly subscribed here so i do hope that um it's a space where you you're willing to learn or willing to face that but yeah man remotizing you know and especially for nets always gonna boil down to yeah the black men and whatnot and which feeds again to Jorge, if you're not gonna address the issues on top we're gonna go for low-lying fruits where we feel entitled to women you know and not just the men also in the queer community as well where now we caring but it's birthed by the system as well these misogynistic views and these patriarchal views where women live on like you know and yeah so so it's not just I, i'm just directing at at us as a people who are rohila ning guys rohila ning when are we getting our shit together as a people you know because how we we are taught we we taught for rea you need to in don't be a shell so 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 that level that line i know like i tell you how you know further and further you know or you get women who'd say hurry um no but you need to try harder whereas some women so whereas majority of the women are saying well, hey, I I kind of situation you know and for you to feel entitled because i remember late last week so what i do sometimes like and then just take public transport to commute whatever you know but at times but at times like i back and be on some mm, let me tap back you know and then i ride a taxi because yeah i just want to remember such things and because yeah yeah having a car again so much weight but anyway um so yeah so uh last week yes last week i was on a taxi and on my way back or there access vanika guy there this guy like if you feel if you feel this guy wants me to turn kilo attend hello yeah so i must try make that effort and then 
for safety i have to ha say hello foster you know and so such such things where you basically responding or giving somebody time of day because you're scared of the danger or the abuse that's gonna come you know yeah i'm meant to gold or shit like that and these are the things guys let's not let the system swallow us like concentration camp air like we're literally swallowing each other you know we're swallowing each other these traits that we have that are not even us like i usually say hurry we as people the woman body so much the woman the woman and by body i mean collectively like the woman was God, you know, and for how because I read the situation, you know, how we let it slide when it's racism, we let it slide when it's this, when it's this, but all those sims, all those isms are birthing the homophobia, they're birthing the um, um, seeing women, the GBVs, they're birthing all of those. And if we're not addressing that, you know, but like I feel, man, fuck blind blind because we are hungry Kamo, you know you know what I'm saying like so like you're yeah, manifest that in different ways and at the core for me is if we're not gonna stand up and get our economy right if we're not gonna be circulating the right front if we're gonna be jealous because or not decide like the tattoo and not I had this as an idea the minute you put it out like all these things exist already exist in 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 the universe you know it's just for you to claim them so it's not your idea it's not this it's somebody it's it's their it's their idea because they took action you know and I feel like I'm talking about a lot of things at the same time but back to men feeling entitled to women you know so can we do better especially because we are raising other children as well you know we're raising children back into the system and if we know an address for uh uh or this thing of wanting to make babies hug and hug by say how one baby i don't want to hug this person let it be that so you teach more to the boundary you teach one not the boundary no um we say no and then that needs to be okay you know also where with 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 us i'd say us let's say in the queer community where if a uh, happy king yeah i basically know somebody who's on a wheelchair because they were chasing this girl who had said no and especially my people that straight that date straight people you know so i first of all only to get into a car accident but had you avoided that and said ha ah, that's that you know so this is us now also carrying these misogynistic views and way of doing things because we are taught that way you know or because i want to identify my masculine energy is a bit more i operate in this way or not keep my chains or go kasi go sorry blow my chains like yeah reakai 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 guys let us let us i think be cognizant and notice how this is a problem i could call it the hello yaka and times about to be like you tired you just want to be in your space not because because i'm scared or or don't rock or ing and tell me i think i'm pretty or ing you know even yeah like a day like today i have my ugly day and okay actually the summer stopped speaking ugly about myself but yeah it's not a it's not my favorite day my eyes my eyes the windows to my soul but um yeah because you're gonna do this i'm literally now go inconvenience myself now i have to now i have to boo up because now when we say hello time to get a hello and then you want to continue the conversation i don't want to i don't want to guys so can we do better guys can we do better can we be alert can we recognize for the hello to a point more no guys ah uh, guys lee the perpetrators of patriarchy law number 30 as well stop it stop it stop enabling the situation with when i went in when i would it's immaterial nobody has a right to violently act over anybody else like on a right on a at all like whatever happened to walking away whatever happened to walking away oh are, are we all gonna operate from ego because i will show them i will show you when i'm bad you know yeah, like the operating karma can zero road. Eh, eh, stop, guys. So yeah, take, let us meet up uh, tomorrow where we gonna be. I don't know what we're doing tomorrow, but we do have an episode for tomorrow. But thank you so much for liking, for subscribing, for commenting. Uh, let us engage more. What do you guys think? Do you guys wanna tell me? I'm gonna sit on this. Do tell me. Uh, but let us engage. Do you guys recognize this as a chadiking, as a baby or a cousin to the system? That it is quite problematic. Mm.
Alright, happy today. Don't go out and be an asshole. Happy today.